So hey everybody, kind of changed gears here now, and I'm going to try to work on the transmission mount. So what I did, that is the cross member out of the 1939 donor car sedan. So I need to put that into that. <laughs> So it's going to be quite a bit of modifications on the cross member, but if I do get it, it should be a nice, should strengthen up, you know, the, the front and the back should strengthen up the sides of the Model A, make that frame nice and stiff. Hopefully I will have uh, the pedal assembly uh, to line up, depending on how much I have to trim it, but uh, that's what I'm working on. So. I'm going to have to remove the stock Model A cross member and I've been drilling that out so we'll see how it goes. Alright I got it set in there and what I did was I just put the bolts in the transmission mounting area and uh, just center the holes with the bolts on both sides and uh, that should get me nice and square in there. So then I marked it, now I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Well, I have it setting in there on the mounts, but the cross member is pretty low in the frame. The pedals are about where they should be with, it, with the cross member that low, but from the side, oh, I don't like that. So if I sectioned the cross member, uh, let me see here, you know, so it would fit, <clears throat> so it would fit up in the frame rails, then the pedals are going to be too high. Uh, the mount's right. And the wishbone mount in the back probably has to be that low to clear the motor. But I don't like how this is so low. And being the pedals right here, you would see that. And that's pretty low, I think. Kind of ugly. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, well I'm not giving up yet. What I did is I drilled the rivets out of it and uh, put a one inch masking tape along the length of it. It has to be one and a quarter inch uh, narrower. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that piece in two put it back together, tack weld it, put it in the frame and go from there. Okay, a new day and uh, you know I kinda gave up on putting that 39 X member, cross member, whatever you want to call it in there um, and I started working on putting an F1 cross member in there but it just kept bugging me how I wanted the 39 in there so after a couple of days of thinking about it I went ahead and drilled out all the rivets uh, out of the 39X member and uh, went ahead and split it down the middle uh, removed what I needed to remove to uh, fit in the front and then taper it in the back to fit in the back welded it all back together um, and took the transmission mount out of the 39 also along with it, was the whole X member was part of it, drilled that out and uh, redid that a little bit but now I have the 39 X member in there and I really like it. I think it's really gonna strengthen up the frame. Um, 
It works out nice. One thing I, I like about it is there's not a bunch of stuff hanging way down low on the frame. Uh, there is going to be the front wishbone mount hanging lower, but that's it. You know, the radius rods, but I like that much better. Um, for the transmission mount, I just had to trim a little bit on one of the legs, that, or on both of the legs, uh, to make so I could fit these little rubber uh, mounts in. But uh, I think it's going to work really good. And then also, this little piece that was on the mount, this whole thing actually went inside here to begin with. But this, I'm, I probably will use this to make a bracket for the front wishbones. So that might work out really good too. But after a marathon day with my buddy Chuck, uh, we got her in there and I'm liking it. Still needs to be cleaned up. It's pretty rusty. I'm going to have to grind some rust off, maybe do some patches, but I like it. The 39 pedals, 39 pedals are going to fit in there real nice. Direct linkage right to the clutch, which is one of the reasons why I wanted the 39. Uh, so it's just going to, and then the master cylinder is going to be sitting out here. Uh, it just, it's just going to work out so much better uh, and easy. I mean, you know, the F1 might be less work in some points, but more points in the other. But I'm glad I decided to try this. And uh, so anyway, yeah, I just wanted to give an update. Still got more work to do. I'm going to have to bring, when I put the new rear end in, I'm going to have to bring the rear radius rod mount uh, to about where that tape is. So it's nice and in line with with the X member here. Uh, so that's going to be nice. Any of you guys on the ham see any problem with moving that mount back a little bit, please let me know. Uh, that's the update. Thanks for watching. Bye.